Hi everyone, this is Ritesh from Dancing with Data. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And today I'm here to talk about my real confusion with Tableau's artificial intelligence. Well, before I talk about the confusion part, let us talk about Tableau's latest artificial intelligence. Before we talk about the confusion part, let us talk about the latest Tableau GPT or Tableau Pulse feature powered by generative AI. But then why I'm so confused with this feature and why I'm so, mm, a little worried as well? Well, the feature looks great where you get AI generative matrix, which can definitely help you to take the informed decision. Okay, so let me show you a small demo from the Tableau site it, itself. Here you go. A visual of the trend and AI generated insights like this one. Appliance sales has seen an unusual increase and it's above the normal range. So these insights are AI generated, unusual increase of 326 units, but not only that, just wait and watch. And when I click, Tableau Pulse helps me understand this specific metric right at the top. I know I can trust this. I can do a few things. I can take guidance from Tableau GPT or ask my own questions. These are questions Tableau GPT has already suggested. So I can just choose one. What is driving this change? And Tableau Pulse answers me in plain language and with a viz. Here, it's showing me air fryers is the driver of this change. Next, I can ask the question my own way. What else should I know about air fryers? In response, Tableau Pulse points me to another metric that matters. And this one, inventory fill rate, is getting too low. I'd like to work on this problem with a colleague. So I share this insight with Pedro and work on it with him directly. So this is quite useful as you can see how you can follow a metric, how it can ask for your attention within within with a statement within within that metric like there's an unusual increase in the number of orders and you can even drill down and see that you know why these numbers were increased or what could be the reasons. Not only that you can pose your own questions as well as you, as you have seen just now. Remember that this is quite different from ask data. With ask data you are asking plain simple questions like top five regions with respect to sales in the continent, say United States, States of America or say Asia. Those data will never help you to understand that why a particular region had more sales. So understand the difference. So what is the confusing part? So let me take you to this very particular line which says Einstein Generative AI Technology. Well, this technology was the native technology of Salesforce CRM. That is even before Salesforce acquisition of Tableau. So when Salesforce acquired Tableau, it became Tableau CRM. And even I was happy and even I tested this T Tableau CRM capability. I created one video as well, Tableau CRM, aka Einstein Discovery. So which is AI generative insight. So it was already there. But interestingly, it was actually not a Tableau internal feature and you needed Salesforce account to avail this very particular feature. Because if you say Tableau CRM, it, it sounds like that it's a you know Tableau feature, but you need to have Salesforce account. So currently there is, an, there is an extension called Einstein Discovery, which will get prediction for your Tableau data using Einstein Discovery models in Salesforce. So originally it was Einstein Discovery. Then you have Tableau CRM. Now it is called as, as you can see there, note Tableau CRM and Einstein Analytics is now CRM Analytics. So this is way back in October 6, 2020. So even if today, if I go back and check May 9, 2023, and if I check the Tableau GPT and Tableau Pulse, which is the latest feature, it looks like the extension of the same feature that we have with Tableau CRM, right? The CRM analytics now. And initially I thought that maybe Tableau Pulse now, with Tableau Pulse now, they are trying to improve the experience and they'll bring this to, to the Tableau product it, itself. But no, this is again with Salesforce Data Cloud. So I guess this work with Snowflake and yes, Snowflake as well, Salesforce and Snowflake for now. In one of my previous videos, I did mention about this thing. And this is one of the minus points for Tableau. Some of the Tableau emerging capabilities, including CRM analytics and data cloud are designed to integrate with Salesforce. And some clients have expressed concerns about not getting the most of combined platform if they don't move to Salesforce. So that's the problem. And that problem seems to continue with Tableau GPT and Tableau Pulse because again, they are again talking about Salesforce cloud connector. The overview feature of Power BI Microsoft Copilot should already be an alarm for Tableau. So for example, with Power BI, they say that, okay, we will give you pizza and we will deliver. We will have home delivery as well. But here they say that come to our restaurant 
you need to take visa from the restaurant itself. And if you do like that, it will impact your business. So Einstein Analytics, Tableau CRM, CRM Analytics, and probably Tableau GPT and Tableau Pulse, the most confusing feature of Tableau ever, at least for me. What about you? What do you think about the Tableau strategy? Do they need to rethink the way they are going, especially with the AI, when we call AI as our future? So this is Ritesh signing off with a question for you to think about it. And if you have something, post in the comment. Till then, it's bye-bye from Ritesh. Till I meet you again with a different topic, probably another interesting topic for you. Bye-bye.